I had to do a lot of experimentation, a lot of different fields. So right about that time, I found that Skilllink was offering a course in full stack web development. And I had also read a lot of reviews in Google and I had asked some of my friends if I thought I can take the offline mode as well if I was going to opt for that. And uh, I had compared the other, uh, you know, startups like uh, Upgrad and all that. Uh, we get uh, calls every week or uh, once in every two weeks from Skilling. To right now where I am, I think I am pretty confident. So right when I read it, it was pretty interesting. So I thought I should probably take it up with Skilling. My name is Adit Krishnan and I'm an engineering graduate in the field of biotechnology. Uh, I graduated last year and uh, I'm very passionate about technology and anything related to consumer technology. And uh, that is the main reasons for choosing this course. Uh, so last year I had to go through, uh, I had to do a lot of experimentation, a lot of different fields. I used to do for data science, analytics, and then I came into uh, full stack web development. So right about that time, I found that Skilllink was offering a course in full stack web development. And uh, I had compared the other, uh, you know, startups like uh, Upgrad and all that. From all the uh, placements that you guys have done, being a recent startup and the uh, large, huge number of placements. And I had also read a lot of reviews in Google and I had asked some of my friends. So uh, that was one of the main reasons. Second reason was I thought I can take the offline mode as well if I was going to opt for that. So comparing everything else and also the course curriculum, it is pretty clear what was given in the website. So we go from the start all the way till the end of the entire cycle of full stack web dev. So right when I read it, it was pretty interesting. So I thought I should probably take it up with skill. I've opted to learn about the uh, full stack web development. Uh, which is basically uh, the entire life cycle of our software development or any software application that we do. So uh, first we start with the front-end development, uh, which is the uh, based on designing of the UI of any application that we are building. And we are, the languages that we use are HTML, CSS, JavaScript, which are the main three. And additionally, we also learn Bootstrap. We learn about uh, jQuery, which is a framework. And we also learn about uh, Ajax, so this is the, these are the main things that consist of the front end, and at the end of this module, we are we build an e-commerce website as a project, as a front end project. Uh, next, we go to the Java programming. So it is a programming language that we learn, and uh, it is very required for uh, learning, which is the third module, which is data structures and algorithms. So we finish Java, and then we move to data structures and algorithms, which is important for interview purposes. So once we are done with that, uh, we move on to the databases module, which is the fourth module. So there we learn all about databases, what is SQL, what is no SQL, and then we learn about MongoDB, and then we learn about the different query language, like uh, structured query language, that is SQL itself. And uh, once we finish all this, we finally go on to the uh, backend of Java. Like we learn uh, how to build the backend of the uh, e-commerce application. And uh, we also learn about using frameworks, Java frameworks called as uh, Spring Boot, Hibernate, etc. And we build the backend through that. So uh, this is basically an entire uh, life cycle of how an, a system, an, an application is built, right? Starting the front end, building the database to store all the information, and then we go on to building the backend to help communicate between the front end and the database. So this is the entire uh, thing that we learn in this course. The uh, technical support has been uh, really good until now. Uh, we get uh, calls every week or uh, once in every two weeks from Skilling to know what our status in the courses and how we are facing the course. Is it actually difficult? Is it easy? What are the difficulties we have in accessing some of the contents of the website? Or what can be changed you know, for the better? Any recommendations that we have from our side? So this happens uh, every week or once in every two weeks. Uh, apart from this, we also have uh, sessions with our mentors. So we have weekly sessions. Uh, we have uh, Per week, we have two sessions that we have. Uh, with each of the mentors and then we can talk to them about anything basically in anything related to the industry of the doubts that we have in our course anything that we want if it's a more uh, let's say a bigger problem that we face let's say some issue in the code we are not able to do anything because of that we can always we can always uh, set up a one-on-one -on -one session with the mentor with any mentor we want and we can of course get it clarified so there is no time limit or anything like that as far as our doubts and our questions get cleared uh, it's fine 
so till now it's been good technical support is really good and it also keeps us on the toes because uh, we also need to know that you know uh, the the course is going on and we need to finish it as fast as possible so that we can attain those skills and then you know apply for a job and uh, get hired so it's good it's been really good the experience is great even though i'm coming from a, a biology stream uh, i have i do some i do have some experience in coding before so before i joined skilling i had learned the python language and i found it pretty difficult but then uh, it, when i came to skilling and then i started out with the front end module it was pretty voluminous it was not something that you can finish it in just one month so from all the languages that we had learned and all the mainly the projects that we were building uh, you will have to spend a significant amount of time in those projects and uh, in working in those programming languages uh, and then when we move on to java uh, java is again an object oriented program language which requires some uh, you know some higher level of understanding of some concepts uh, like let's say encapsulation abstraction and so on and so forth so i would say it was difficult for me it still is but the most uh, difficult i have found is basically in the third module which is data structures and algorithms because it is a very math based uh, very analytical oriented uh, uh, topic that we have to learn and of course it's very important for interviews so i would say that was difficult and that still is difficult because to get better and better at over time uh, but i would say altogether if you keep working towards uh, whatever you are learning and you uh, you keep in touch every single day and you keep looking back at it i think you are, you ought to get better with time in our uh, front end module the first model that we done so our uh, final project is to build the e-commerce of an entire uh, sorry the website of an e-commerce store it's called a swag of india so where uh, we are uh, we are we will be given mock ups and we are supposed to design uh, we are supposed to make pixel perfect designs for those mock ups and we are also supposed to add different functionalities like uh, let's say adding products to cart products to wish list and then you know adding uh, multiple products in that cart by by increasing the quantity decreasing the quantity and based on that what are the calculations that will have to be made you know reducing the taxes or something like that and then the checkout page where the uh, how it gets delivered what are the address the feedback we get from the users let's say the name the address and all that and so uh, all these functionalities can be embedded in the front end itself and this is what uh, we are needed to do the front end project so it's pretty big so it took me around 2 and 1/2 months to complete the entire module so the project was pretty challenging but it should be i guess because that it is very in industry level oriented uh, next moving on to the java module what we did is uh, the final project was to build a scientific calculator so uh, that was pretty uh, moderate i would say it's not that difficult it's a smaller module so the project's also a bit smaller but you are required to use a lot of concepts of object oriented programming and you know all those Uh, concepts and then uh, understand uh, have a good understanding of them and then you know create the project so that is about the java language uh, in data structures and algorithms uh, it is completely uh, solving as many problems as you can so be it our first project or the second project so we have two projects let's say there are there are 12 weeks of coursework and there is uh, after 6 weeks of coursework we have one project and then the next 6 weeks after that we have another project which is the major project So in this uh, data structures and algorithms, we are uh, made to do almost more than 60 problems, 60 to 70 problems that we have, and they are all uh, varied, varied from easy to medium to hard to uh, very hard levels. So easy problems are very less. It mostly starts at medium, and then go into hard problems. So we cover all data structures like trees, let's say graphs, and then linked lists, stacks, queues, whatever it is. So all these are covered, and we uh, are made sure that uh, problems are solved in all of these data structures, so that we get a good understanding about them. And uh, right now, I am in the database uh, course, which is the fourth module. And um, I guess we uh, in this we are supposed to build the database for our e-commerce system. So if we have an e-commerce uh, application, what are the different items that we need? Like uh, let's say customer entity and a seller entity, how they are going to you know take the products. what are the uh, lists of products that are going to, the customer is going to give how the seller is going to fulfill those products so like that we are supposed to build a database uh, utilizing all of these so that's where i am at right now uh, well uh, i have always wanted to i have always liked the idea of being a web designer and uh, being a creative person myself i think uh, i have a lot of ideas in in implementing different web designs so uh, right now i since i'm new to this domain my only focus is to be a good web designer and to be a good applications developer so i can start right from the design and then build like the middleware and then you know build the database and then connect all of that 
so that is my goals right now but i am really looking forward to get into the industry and then look at the other aspects of software engineering and you know this entire uh, software life cycle what are the other things i can ponder upon but right now uh, taking this course i am pretty confident about what i'm where i'm going to enter and what i'm the what is the job that i'm going to do what the job entails i'm pretty sure about it uh this course um, it has been built in a way that uh, you get all the materials access to all good materials and the video lectures and uh, you get one on one mentor support and uh, you can basically clear any of your doubts that you have any time and there is also a group in the website known as forums where you have for different modules you have different groups where there are students there are mentors you can ask them anything you want post questions and get answers immediately uh so the only thing is students can be uh like you know dedicated to their learning and it's a continuous process if you take any breaks in between you're going to lose track and i i guess people can take a lot of help from the existing students who are studying let's say because i am in a fourth mod right now student who is in the first mod can obviously ask me because i have made a lot of mistakes and that has cost me a lot of time in refactoring the code or in any 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 sort of problems so i'll be able to help them out so i think they need to step up and ask the uh, students who are more farther than them as to how they can improve and what are the problems that we face and how you know they should not face all those problems so i think that is pretty important and of course it's just a time to time uh, consistency that matters and if students consistently learn all this and they keep you know uh, doing projects mainly on whatever they've learned uh, anything learning is not enough you have to build any small project it doesn't have to be huge any small project regarding that particular uh, let's say a uh, concept if you build i guess you will get good at it you will be more confident at it to speak about it anywhere so i guess this is one of the thing that i would suggest to students and uh, yeah skill link from the whatever they providing me i think it's very good i am getting a lot, from where i was to my skill set that was totally not there in uh, you know i had no skills at all in this field excepting html and css which i just started about just touched about to right now where i am i think i am pretty confident like all the skills that i've learned right now and that i'm looking forward to learn more from the rest of the modules i think by the time i finish this course i'll be i'll be a certified full stack web developer and a good one oh uh, yeah so i uh, i love helping out other students and it is something it is a, like a recent pleasure that i found it because it also keeps me on my toes to be good at whatever i've learned so if people come and ask me i should not be you know uh, not be able to answer them i should be able to immediately answer them clear any of their doubts so in a way uh, it also makes me focus more on my coursework and make sure that i am at the top of my game whatever i have studied whatever i have learned i am able to understand it in a way in an easier way i need to be able to deliver it to the students in a much easier way so that they can understand so i think i have been doing that uh, till now a lot of students uh, my own uh, classmates who have like asked for help and all that so i have helped them out i have uh, guided them through all this and of course even if it's not from a fellow students there's always your mentor that you can rely on with a lot of experience they've got in the industry so they'll be able to you know uh, sometimes more quickly solve your problems than the fellow students so yeah it's been a really good experience till now not only for me but also the point where i'm helping the other students